For millennia, mathematical computations have been vital to human progress. From the work of Isaac Newton to the International Space Station, we've made calculations with increasing efficiency and accuracy. Today, the work is done by computers. Computer, no. A programmable high-speed electronic machine that performs mathematical or logical calculations. In the past, the work was done by human computers. Computer, no. One who computes, a reckoner, a calculator. Intrigued by accounts of Halley's Comet, French astronomer Alexis Claude Clairaut set out to compute the date of its return. He divided the problem into parts and, with the help of two colleagues, rushed to complete the calculation before the comet's return. The result was surprisingly accurate for its day and one of the earliest examples of people collaborating to perform complex computations. The march of human computing accelerated in the Industrial Revolution. The new strategies of mass production, division of labor, and manager supervision that were transforming manufacturing were also effective in computing. Complex calculations, divided into simple parts, computed by teams of laborers with basic math skills, meant fast results. Computing opportunities now opened to women, because they were skilled, but also because mass production depended upon their cheaper labor. During the Great Depression, the WPA took an interest in computing and created work for the unemployed. In the winter of 1937-38, they needed more jobs. One of the Washington, D.C. officers suggested that they put together a computing group. They structured this office following a classic model. At the top of the structure were a few scientists. Beneath them, a group of planners. Underneath the planners, there were 450 workers who did the actual computation. The group lasted for a decade. It actually survived the demise of the WPA itself. The Mathematical Tables Project completed 28 volumes of calculations that enabled advances in science, engineering, and industry. World War II. Men were sent to battle, and women were again in demand as computers, this time performing the calculations of war. In 1945, six of these women trained to program a groundbreaking electronic machine that calculated artillery shell trajectories, the ENIAC. Setting up a problem for computation on the ENIAC took several days. The ENIAC women simplified the process by using a method to store programs. Then you never had to set up the machine again. All you had to do was to set the switches in the function tables. So the horrendous problem of programming the ENIAC was gone. Today, the ENIAC women are recognized as pioneers of computer programming. The final grand project of human computers, 10 years in the making, was the Handbook of Mathematical Functions. 1,000 pages of computing formulas and tables, including many from the WPA Mathematical Tables Project. Published in 1964, it was a valuable tool for 20 years. But it debuted the same year as this computer, a huge leap forward in powerful mainframe computing. Increasingly replaced by electronic machines, some human computers found work as programmers. Their contribution and legacy will not be forgotten. Some may even say it can't be calculated.